Hey guys, Zongit to 134 here, bringing you yet another uh, Kamen Rider uh, Zeo review. This time we're looking at episodes 1920, the Kamen Rider Quill Arc, and the last review for the week. So, um, Monday I should hopefully have uh, episodes 21 and 22. I'm um, doing 1920 tonight, and then I should be caught up until the end of the week when we finally get episode 24. So, with that out of the way, uh, the Kamen Rider quiz arc. So, this arc actually opens with uh, x aid and Gates chasing after uh, Kamen Rider, or another quiz, or another Rider quiz, already in action. As he and are about to fight it when they come across the actual Kamen Rider quiz. Once again, yet another rider that shouldn't exist. Uh, this time from the year 2040, I want to say? Or 2044, I think. Um, I hope you guys don't mind if I snack. Um, I just really wanted to drink my pop while it was cold. So, um, so they give chase, and uh, they're attacked by Common Rider Quiz, whose powers are that he asks questions, and uh, if you answer them wrong, you get electric electrocuted uh, via the power of his suit. Uh, I really like his suit. Um, I think he's based on a ride player and someone else. Um, I like that he's half red, half blue. Um, I like the I like the quiz motif. Um, I forget exactly his full name, but I, know, I think it's, like, Manda Doden or something like that. Um, and so, uh, oh, I can't remember where I'm going with this. But basically, he, um, he stops them from defeating another quiz and he gets away. Leading into basically the main premise of the episode, the episode's basically um, wondering why exactly Quiz can exist when his another writer exists, which I don't think is ever brought up. Um, it could be argued that that's the power that um, that Future Was is doing it, but they never fully explain it, and they bring it up, but they it's it's never brought up again. Um, maybe if we get to the Kikai, uh, the Kikai arc, they'll bring it up. Um, it's just weird because. Uh, Shinobi didn't have that happen to him, um, but uh, basically they give chase for a while until um, basically uh, Waz shows up and brings up his, um, Black Waz rather, and he brings up that uh, his worries of the fact that this rider exists in this timeline as he believes it's a machination of uh, White Waz, that of him wanting to basically use this as an opportunity to get yet another ride watch so that Gates can defeat Zeo. Um, which is exactly why Waz brought him here. Um, and so basically, um, eventually they they run out of places to find a qu uh, another quiz, so they head back to 9to5do, uh, uh, so goes home, and they come across Quiz getting a watch repaired um, by Soko's uncle, which is where we finally meet him. Um, he's voiced by, or no, he's portrayed by an actor from uh, Tokame Sentai Go Buster, specifically Red Buster. Um, and I think he's he's really good here. I liked Red Buster, and um, I, I watched a few episodes of the Go Buster. I found it kind of dull, but. I might go back and give it a chance again. I know a lot of people say it gets, it gets really good. A lot of people really like the show. Um, I might have to give it a chance again. Especially since, uh, which is Kismet here, at the time of this recording, um, the next series to come out is uh, Power Rangers Beast Morphers, which was a sh uh, series that Saban originally skipped. But I guess Hasbro, since they bought the rights back, um, decided that uh, Beast Morphers, uh, or well, Go Buster, would be the one that would get adapted into Beast Morphers. Um... I guess just because they didn't really want to do uh, Zeo Oger, which, you know, fair enough. There's a couple seasons they skipped, 
So it, it would be interesting to see them go back and do them uh, and give them justice. Um, so anyway, uh, and so we come across uh, him getting trying to get a watch repaired, which doesn't go anywhere. Um, we learn throughout this that the watch belonged to his father, and that he actually was convinced by White uh, Waz to travel to this timeline so that he could ask if his his father, if he really loved his mother, as his mother's dying in the future, and he wants to be able to actually know the truth as she is dying and she feels that he didn't love her. Um, which we find out he's actually another quiz. He'd been given the, the another ride watch by Aura in order to um, finally make a big research break. Basically, he would be known as a researcher who was brilliant, but he never ever got any big breakthroughs. And so, um, it drove him to be separated from his from his family. Um, and th which I actually thought they were going to imply that like he was doing so because he wanted to research a cure for. Uh, his wife's illness, but they never bring that up, and it would have actually been kind of interesting, and that's why he separated from them, because he felt like he failed, not really seeing the big picture. Um, but that's not the case, but I, I still enjoy it, just because I like that Quiz just simply wants to know, and that's all he really wants. And so, he uh, eventually worms his way into the, um, into Sogo's home and spend most of the day and night there while they try to find a lead into uh, where another quiz went as he kind of stops after attacking a few people <clears throat> for a while. Um, so while this is all going on, Gates and Sukuyomi once again run into White Waz who convinces him that the only way that they can beat another quiz and by extension Gates can defeat Zeo is for him to um, get the quiz ride watch and get one step closer to becoming Gates Revive. So, um, of course, one of the parts I like about the first episode is the fact that Gates actually really doesn't want to do it because he feels remorse because he, I think Sogo's kind of rubbed off on him. He doesn't really want to take the watch because he'll lose his memories of being a common writer and by extension will lose his memories of why he's doing all this and he doesn't want to do that which I think is a very interesting um, moment for Gates usually Gates is very much just I'm focused on defeating you know the writer or Zeo or whatever is in the is in their way in that episode and it's kind of showing that Gates is at least learning to be a better person that his vengeance can harm people and that he can't just be single-mindedly vengeance if he wants to change anything. He has to grow as a character, which I, I find really interesting. It's probably the f one of the things I like about this arc is that Gates actually gets a little bit of character development because he's been always so single-track minded. And it also kind of shows that he needs to find resolve, but his resolve needs to be finding a way to change the future without having to kill Sogo, which I think will be interesting. And we also get to see more of White Waz, that he very much is still the, the Waz we know. Um, because he tells Gates, like, yeah, I, you may not trust me, but I don't trust you either, because you're not the Gates that I know. And that you need to start being the Gates that will eventually take, uh, um, will become Gates Revive so that he can defeat, um, Sogo. Um... Which is a big part of this arc, which I thought was kind of cool. It it shows that he he's going to change, make it, make that future happen no matter what. Much like the other the original was, which I thought was kind of cool. Um. So. Basically, Sogo tries to help Quiz because him and Quiz are have the same goal. They want to stop the another rider, but they want he wants to do so in a way that'll help. Um, that'll help, whereas Gates isn't really sure what he should do. Um, which of course leads into the, the, ne the next episode, which, which I, which I really enjoy because we actually get to see Gates and Sogo wonder how they should do things, but they wonder how each other should, would go about it, which was actually kind of cool. They both asked Sukuyomi, like, Gates asked, what, how, what would Sogo do, Sogo do in the situation? 
And Silver asked what Gates would do in that situation, which I found really interesting. But, um, because it shows that Gates is no longer just a single-minded person that wants to just steamroll through and just do whatever he has to to change the future. Alongside Tsukoyomi, who herself, um, or alongside Sogo, who he wonders maybe he needs that approach in order to help uh, <clears throat> Dodon... Um, uh, self help his father which is actually really cool because we get to the part where Gates tries to stop the two and he but he goes after so he goes after Sogo and so Sogo's like oh I get it you want to help him too so you do go on ahead and I actually like because Gates is like how did how did you figure that one how did you figure me out and he's like and says so Sukoyomi said you're very easy like you went after me purposefully you if you really wanted to stop another quiz, you would have went after Quiz himself and forced him to make the ride watch that was his powers. And so, Gates basically figures that him and Dowdon will um, stop uh, another quiz together, because as long as another quiz is there, his power should still, in theory, defeat the another rider. Um, we saw that back in the first episode, when Build himself was able to fight another Build for a little bit until his powers faded away. That... Um, even if even if you don't have the ride watch, the power of that rider that, that the another rider takes from should still be able to beat it, um, and they do do so. But um, either through their the machinations of White Waz or just because of how strong the another rider watch is, um, the two actually perform a double rider kick and manage to de transform uh, Dodon's father. But it doesn't. It's not enough. So Wool powers it back up and turns him into another quiz again. Um, and this time Waz intervenes once again, uh, creating the uh, the quiz Mirai watch and becoming uh, Common Rider Waz featuring quiz, which I don't like as much as Shinobi. I feel like Shinobi and Kikai don't look nearly as good. Um, I will admit I like the powers of quiz that he asks if he asks questions, depending on if. Um, you get it wrong or right, it will um, strike, create a thundercloud that will strike the opponent down, depending on how the how it works. And like the shoulder pads are actually the the wrong and right. That was actually pretty cool. Um, and of course, we show off Waz, um, Waz's uh, new finisher using the cane mode, which is the question mark on his um, Zikon to spear. Which I think it's called Fukashigi magic or something like that. It, I think it basically means myster mysterious magic. And he creates a bunch of uh, question mark marks that surround the opponent and then he detonates them. Um, the common rider he calls it rider shooting. I'm not entirely sure what it exactly it is. It just creates a bunch of question marks that I guess coalesce and explode. Um, <coughs> and so he defeats another quiz, which doesn't really upset quiz that he lost his common rider powers. It seems he got to keep his memories, though. Which, once again, I don't understand how that works. Usually the rider loses all their memories, but sometimes it doesn't happen, and sometimes it does. It, the writing's kind of wishy-washy on that part. Um, but basically, he finally talks to Dodon and asks, um, you know, did you really love my mother? Or did you, like, or would you will willingly give up your, your research? And he says, well, I, you know, I may have given, may have to give up my research, but I did it because I love your mother. Which allows, uh, Qu Quiz basically chooses to believe that he means that, which I'm not entirely sure what that means. I, I kind of believe he does mean it. Um, but so Quiz is satisfied and White Waz returns into the future, uh, giving Gates the... Um, the quiz Mirai watch, which gives him memories of Gates Revive, which I think is kind of supposed to imply that it brainwashed him or gave him like the memories of the alternate Gates. It's not really made clear how that what goes what's going on there, but he walks off, which upsets Sogo. Um, oh, we also got in this episode um, while this is all going on, Sogo fought another um, Waz, but wasn't able to really do anything. In fact, he used the. Um, the double ride watch from Heisei Generation, uh, the latest Heisei Generations film, uh, Heisei Generations Final, and, um, which is cool. It basically, it creates these two robots of Cyclone and Joker, the, the, the two have, main halves of double, 
and they become these big shoulder pauldrons that look like the guy memories. Um, and his finisher is they, they split off and they become extra extra bodies to do um, the Cyclone Extreme Kick, which is kind of like the triple ride kick that um, Cyclone Cyclone and Joker Joker did with Decade for uh, Double's Final Form Ride um, attack, which was cool. I mean, it doesn't do anything, and we get to see uh, this was be sadistic to Sogo. Basically, you know, saying, like, you know, don't, you shouldn't try to fight me when you're not nearly strong enough, uh, Overlord, which was cool. Um, and so the episode ends with Waz coming to Sukoyomi and Sogo saying that, you know, we haven't been able to stop him or stop this white Waz or find any way to fight back. And so he brings up, but I think I have a solution, and he brings up a new ride watch that looks like the Zeo, it looks like a new Zeo ride watch, hinting at what's going to come in the next two episodes. Um, so overall, I thought the quiz arc was not bad. I really liked Quiz as a character. Whereas Shinobi has the cooler design, I thought um, Quiz had more personality. Um, of the two of them, I liked Quiz more just as a character. He, I liked him and Sogo working together. It was nice that he wasn't, that Quiz himself wasn't the another rider, and that we got to see more of the another rider or of the the future rider um so i'm i'm looking forward to seeing uh kikai um and i, I just like i like the cool powers um i like the interesting dynamic of the fact that um both wazes are now trying to make sogo and gates you know go to the future that they want to see happen and it's um it's becoming more difficult for Sogo because everyone seems to want to change the change the future, even though he's trying to be still become the overlord, but through a good overlord. But it seems like he just he's not like everyone's against him now, um, which is hard for for Sogo. And I'm I'm thinking that's going to add into the next arc, especially since um, in this arc Sogo's getting a new power up, which I won't say much yet. Um, it was also kind of just. The action this wasn't bad, but it was kind of frustrating. We didn't get to see a lot of new stuff. Um, the only thing we got to see for Sogo was, of course, him making the using the double ride watch, making the movie cannon, and him briefly using uh, uh, Kamen Rider O's Taja door armor, uh, but via inserting the O's watch into the decade ride watch, which was cool, but it it didn't really do much. So it was just kind of a a there thing, but. Um, and of course the Time Jackers doesn't do mu don't do much auras in this, but she really doesn't get to do much, and she's kind of sidelined throughout most of the episode via Waz. Um, but overall, I liked it. It really the only real flaws story wise I have is why um, Quiz is immune from losing his powers when another Quiz is running around, <clears throat> and why he got to keep his memories. But we'll just say because time travel, because it or just. White Waz. I kind of assume White Waz was manipulating stuff from the background. Um, but anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for um, this one. Um, I'm going to try and get uh, 21 and 22 watched tonight and record it uh, sometime before Monday. And then I will do episodes 23 and 24 when 24 becomes available to me. Um, and then after that, I hopefully can get to Godzilla, because I've been wanting to do that. So, uh, in other words, in other, anyways, guys, I'm Zonga2134. I hope you enjoyed my review, and until next time, take care.